Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snellus where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, let's compare between Sertoli cell versus Leydig cell. Sertoli cell exists inside the seminiferous tubules of the testicle. Leydig cell, while well, also in the testicle, is not inside the seminiferous tubules. It's actually between them dispersed and interspersed between one seminiferous tubule and the next. Sertoli cells and Leydig cells both respond to gonadotropins released from your pituitary gland. The difference is Sertoli cell responds to FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, whereas the Leydig cell responds to LH, luteinizing hormone. Both of these cells can play an endocrine role. Now let's get started. The testicle is the male gonad, i.e. the primary sex organ. The testes contain Sertoli cells, Leydig cells, and germ cells. Here is the testicle. It's that oval-shaped structure filled with seminiferous tubules. It makes the sperms. The sperms will leave through reti testes, efferent ductules of the epididymis, then head, body, tail of the epididymis, before you know it, we are in the vas or ductus difference, and then the ductus difference will unite with the duct of the seminal vesicles to give us the common ejaculatory duct, which will join with the prostatic urethra so that the sperm and the seminal fluid can exit through the urethra. The testicle contains germ cells, Sertoli cells, Leydig cells. Germ cells will give us sperm. Sertoli cells will support spermatogenesis, they also release the Mullerian inhibiting factor and they make the blood testes barrier. As for the Leydig cells, they make testosterone. What does FSH do to the testicle? FSH, look at the F, from to. It's all about aromatization. Convert the male hormone into the female hormone. Put differently, FSH is stimulating Sertoli cell to aromatize and to boost spermatogenesis. As for the luteinizing hormone, it stimulates the Leydig cells so that they can make testosterone. The Leydig cell responds to the luteinizing hormone and makes testosterone. As for the Sertoli cell, it responds to the follicle-stimulating hormone and converts the male into the female hormone by aromatase. The testicle contains Sertoli cell and Leydig cells. Leydig cells make testosterone. Sertoli cell has gazillion functions, supports sperm and spermatogenesis, nourishes the sperm by means of glycogen and fructose, remember fructose, glute 5, responds to FSH stimulation, has phagocytic function, makes tubular fluid, creates a fence, I mean the blood testis barrier, which protects the sperm inside from your immune cells outside because your immune system only recognizes a cell with 46 chromosomes as belonging to the self. But the sperms contain 23 chromosomes. How come my immune system does not destroy my sperms? Because my sperms are hidden from the immune cells by means of tight junctions in the blood testis barrier. Thank you so much, Sertoli cells, for erecting such a fence. Moreover, Sertoli cells secretes five main substances, including androgen binding protein, which binds androgen. Why is that? to keep testosterone at high concentrations in the seminiferous tubules and in the epididymis so that we can keep testosterone in the neighborhood because testosterone is important for the process of formation and maturation of sperms. Next, Sertoli cell will make Mullerian inhibiting factor which inhibits the development of the Mullerian duct. No fallopian tubes, no uterus, no proximal one-third of the vagina. Next, Sertoli cells secretes inhibin and activin. Inhibin, especially inhibin B, inhibits FSH secretion from the pituitary. Activin stimulates FSH secretion. And don't forget the aromatase belongs to the Sertoli cell, and then it converts androgen into estrogens. Do males need estrogens? Yes, estrogens in the testicle will reabsorb water increase the concentration of that tubular fluid which increases the fertility of the sperm. Moreover, estrogen increases FSH release from the pituitary, within limits of course, and the FSH is important for the function of the testicle. FSH stimulates Sertoli which stimulates spermatogenesis. Here is a pearl for the pros. 
MIF and inhibin and activin all belong to the TGF beta superfamily of glycoproteins. Sertoli cells respond to FSH, they make malaria inhibiting factors, they make activin, inhibin, they erect the blood testis barrier. Lytic cells with the L respond to the luteinizing hormone with the L, they make testosterone. Now let's compare between Sertoli cell and Lytic cell. Sertoli cell responds to FSH from the anterior pituitary. Leydig cell responds to the luteinizing hormone from the anterior pituitary. Sertoli cells are located inside the seminiferous tubules in the testicle. Leydig cells outside the seminiferous tubule, or you can say between one seminiferous tubule and the next one. What's the functions? Leydig cell is an endocrine cell. It secretes testosterone into the bloodstream. What if I want some of that testosterone to stay in the testicle? You will need the androgen binding protein of the Sertoli cell, which also makes glycogen, fructose, the barrier, the MIF, the inhibin, the activin. Inhibin inhibits FSH release, while activin activates FSH release. And don't forget Sertoli has aromatase enzyme, which converts androgen into estrogen. Estrogen will reabsorb water and increase the concentration of tubular fluid, which increases the fertility of sperms in the testicles and the epididymis, etc. Sertoli cell has the enzyme known as aromatase. Leydig cell has enzymes that are similar to the enzymes of the adrenal cortex that also makes androgens, such as cholesterol desmolase, 3-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, 17-alpha-hydroxylase, and much more. Check out my previous video on adrenal androgens, which you'll find in the physiology playlist. To learn more about estrogen, progesterone, prolactin, oxytocin, human chorionic gonadotropin, human placenta lactogen, preeclampsia, eclampsia, gestational diabetes, hypertension, and much more, download my OBGYN high yield course at metacosisperfectsnetis.com. If you want to learn about kidney physiology, like the proximal tubule, the loop of Henle, the distal tubule, etc., download my renal physiology course. To learn about type 1 versus type 2 diabetes, diabetic ketoacidosis, what are the different types of insulin that you can administer to a patient, download my endocrine pharmacology course. If you would rather get access to all of my premium videos right here on YouTube, click on the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.